do you want, Tony? I got to tend. You want to go? You're a little too young, Sonny. Well, give me that. You're taking on younger guys. I've seen you. How about it? Run along, will you? You'd make me feel like I was robbing the cradle. Go on, beat it, split. You ought to be home in bed. You ain't gonna get anybody else tonight, Rosie. This is better than nothing. Come on, let's go. What are you looking at? You think this is a strip show or something? Well, I'm talking to you. What do you think I'm gonna do, make like Tempest Storm? Ten bucks don't buy that. You know, I think you're some kind of goon. You give me the creeps. Creep. What's the big idea? Are you crazy or something? What'd you say I was, Rosie? What'd you say? Creep? You know what she said, Johnny? This creep said I was a creep. You shouldn't have said that, Rosie. Tony's a nice, quiet guy. He don't bother nobody. And neither did Buster. Now, you remember Buster, don't you? You told the cops all about him. That wasn't nice, Rosie. You have to apologize. Come on, say you're sorry. Say you're sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Say it. I'm sorry. Let me go, Johnny. Please let me go. I ain't done nothing honest. Please, please let me go. You don't sound like she's sorry enough, now, does she, boy? You see, they don't think you're sorry enough. It's too bad, Rosie. I mean, you gotta learn to be more polite to the guys. You know, especially when you, when you get your bread from them.
go. What do you want? Twenty-five cents. You know where you're at? What's your name? Terry? Terry Fiore. What's yours? Nina. You want to come over with us? No, I don't come where I'm not invited. Well, suit yourself. But you're welcome to come if you want to. Come on. You invite me? Yeah. Okay. Marie, Bert, Charlie, Tony. It's Terry. Where are you from? Manhattan. Until this morning. Now it's the project by the river. You run with a gang over there? Yeah, Falcons. Heard of them? Well, sort of. They have a big rumble about a year ago. A couple of guys got it. A couple more got put in a can. Yeah, the guy that got busted? Frankie, he was my guy. Heard of him? He put down three guys for good. You got a guy now? No, we split up after I moved. He was Prez. So you ain't tied up now? You better talk to Annie before you start cruising new Debs, Nino. Look, bro, just button it up. Cool it, you know. That's my chick you're lipping off to. You cool it. If I want to bust up things with Annie, that's my business. She's got no right butting in. It's between Annie and me and nobody else. Look, I ain't interested in starting anything with anybody. I just moved here. Okay. Who's your prez? Johnny. The guy playing pool over there. That cuts you out, Nina. She's gonna make a play for Johnny. Look, you've got a big mouth for a little girl. You better be careful somebody doesn't slop it shut. Hey, cool are you two. What is this, a new chick comes around here and right away you want to start a rumble? Look, Terry, let me clue you in on the scene here. Everybody's paid off in this game. New guy or girl comes around and somebody's got to move out. You looking to get in? You got to expect trouble. I can handle myself. But just so you know. If it's so tight, why'd you invite me over? We're just friendly, I guess. I dig. Who's this? Oh, she's from Manhattan. Used to run with the Falcons. You're Johnny, aren't you? You're the prez of the rebels? So you ask a lot of questions. Now, who are you? Terry Fiore. You planning to move in on rebel turf? Maybe you're making an offer. Now, that ain't up to me. You know what the score is around here. We ain't got any room in this gang for any new broads. Shut up. It's when you're running the game. I didn't mean anything. Beat it. Shut All right, you guys, make it. You didn't answer me. You planning to move in on Rebel Turf? Yeah, I'd like to make it as a Deb. If I meet the right guy. Well, maybe I'm the right guy. Maybe. Now, don't give me nothing to that. You want in or not? You got some place we can be alone? Later, baby. What do you do for kicks at night? Oh, we hang around here. 
They move over to the clubhouse. What time? Seven or eight. Around there. Well, are you going someplace? Home for dinner. Well, it's the first night here. I'll see you around later. Okay. We'll be here. Make it around 7.30, huh? See you. Nino's been wondering where you were. Oh, you're funny, baby. Why don't you go over and get smart with Johnny? Can't you stay home just one night tonight? We just moved here, and you have school tomorrow, remember? Well, I'm restless. There's nothing to do around here. It's a drag. You could help with the dishes for once. Look, I'm going out for a while, OK? <laughs> She just took over, and Johnny taking her side. You let me see her again, and I'll cut her to pieces. Don't sweat it. She's got about, about as much chance of getting in as I do of flying to the moon. I bet you wouldn't be saying that if she was on the make for Nina. Oh, dry up. What are you worried about? She's a stranger. She doesn't know the score. Angel, you've been Johnny's girl for over a year. How about that skirt they tried to move in about four months back? You got all beaten a big sweat then and over nothing. Cool it. Nobody's gonna take your place. Why worry? If she gives you any trouble, just give her a shot. She'll get the idea pretty damn fast. And Johnny won't say a word. You stomp her and that's the end of it. Right? Right. <laughs> So what's so interesting? I want to dance. Wrong. What the hell did you bring that pig in here for? I wanted to. Do you mind? I mind like hell. Are you trying to tell me what I should do? I'm still your dev, and I've got the scars to prove it. You used to be. Used to be, and I'll beat it. Used to? Are you two-timing me for this pig face square? Yeah. It's not fair, it's between the pig and me. That's right, Johnny, it's between the two of them. I know, you don't have to tell me. Is it okay by you? It's okay by me.
Johnny. Just get out of here. Pack up and move. Just like that? Yeah, just like that. We're finished. Now get moving. for a celebration. Cut me a new broad. You want to turn on? Yeah, but I don't dig the hard stuff. Well, same here. And we got a couple of heads around here, but that's the dumb way. Say, hey, you and I got something to settle. I got to find out if the change is worth it. It's worth it. Come on, and I'll show you. See this room, baby? It's for the President of Rebels. There's nobody but me can come in here. Think this stuff? We got this from other games. You know, I took a lot of it myself. See? Take off your sweater. You want to blow another one? No. Nah, one at a time's enough. You know, now that you're my old lady, there's something I gotta talk to you about. Yeah. Remember when you pulled open Angel's blouse? What you saw over here? Yeah, initials. JG. They're my initials, baby. It's kind of a requirement I got. Anybody makes it with me, he's gotta wear my initials. Yeah, but we didn't do it that way in the Golden Falcons. Well, you're not in the Golden Falcons now. You're my broad now. Sure, Johnny. And you let me put my mark on you. Will it hurt much? Yeah, we dope you up first. I'll give you some booze or some pot if you want. How do you mark? Cigarettes or a knife. Oh, with a lighted cigarette, that hurts a longer time. Knife is quicker. But you might get infected. That don't sound too nice. It's got to be done, baby. I insist. You know how to mark me? No. No hurry. Tomorrow, the next day, just as long as it gets done. Give me a day or two to get used to the idea, huh? Sure.
what the hell was that all about? Guys went out on a raid last night. They attacked someone's sister. What gang was that? The Rat Pack. The big eyes with the eagles. There's gonna be a rumble tonight. I can feel it. With us? Maybe. There hasn't been a rumble around here in two or three months. Bud's been around. But you're right. There's gonna be a rumble soon. Hey, hey, let's get out of here before the fuss comes. Some guys get the weirdest kicks. What are you thinking about? Oh, I'm just remembering my first time. <laughs> Remember yours? <laughs> How can I? Must have been 11, 12 years old. Well, who can remember? Say, when are you going to let me initial you? A day or two. Don't bug me, man. Come on, baby. I want to know. Give me a couple of days. We'll make it snappy. I ain't got time to wait around. Come on, let's get a drink. You coming? In a while. Be with you in a while. Okay. Nuts to you, Buster. Nobody's gonna cut me up. Nino. Oh, hi, I'm Terry. Hey, why don't you open up one for me, okay? Yeah, sure. Nino. Yeah? What do you want? We're all alone in here. Just you and me. So? What of it? Why don't you take me into the bedroom, Nino? You crazy? You want to get me in trouble with Johnny? What's the matter? You afraid of Johnny? Johnny's a prince. It ain't a question of being afraid or not afraid. I just don't go cutting in on his broad, that's all. Even if his broad wants you to? Look, you playing some kind of game, huh? I don't think what you're up to or what you're going to get out of this. You. That's what I get out of this. Well, what's the matter? You're chicken, huh? You're chicken. Like hell I am. I say you're chicken. A girl walks up to you and says, let's go, and you ain't even got the guts to go. Who says? Prove it, then. Well, Johnny put you up to this, didn't he? He wants to see if I'll listen to you, huh? Johnny would flip if he knew this was going on. Listen, Nino, he wants to cut his initials into me. So? He does that to all his debs. Well, this is one deb that don't go for that kind of crud. Nobody's gonna mark me up, you hear? So I'm giving Johnny the boot. If he can't take me the way I am, then I'm gonna go to somebody that can. You dig? Now you know the score. So you're dumping Johnny, huh? Okay, okay, I get it. And you want me, huh? Yeah, you get the idea. Well, he won't take this without a fight. I'll have to have a stand with Johnny on account of you. You got the heart, Nino? Or you're chicken to stand with Johnny? I ain't chicken. Come on with me. I'll show you who's chicken. world, baby. Worth fighting Johnny for? Worth fighting ten Johnnies for. Who the hell's in my room? It's me, me, Nino. I'm in here. You want your head, man? You can't go using my room. 
Sure I can, daddy -o. I'm taking over the Rebels, Johnny. And I got Terry in here with me. You what? Get that damn door open, I'll bust it down. You hear me, Nino? Get it open. Come on out, Nino. I'm waiting for you, Nino. Well, keep your shirt on, Sonny. Well, let's go, baby. I ain't got all day. You gonna fight him, Nino? There gonna be a stand? Well, what do you think? Well, you think it's smart to fight him now? I mean, you hadn't ought to fight him if you're not... Don't worry about me. I'll take care of him. Get open! Come on out of there! I'm coming, Johnny. Don't blow your cool, man. I'm coming out. I'm coming, Johnny. What you want to do a thing like that for, Nino? Pie or something. Man, you out of your skull? You want to take over the rebels, huh? What you want to go fool my broad for? Nino, I never bugged you, baby. Now you messed yourself all up. I'm gonna have to kill you. You do a lot of talking, Johnny, huh? Well, why don't you shut that big mouth and let that play do the talking? Well, come on, baby, let's go. Come on, Turkey. I'm gonna cut you up. I'm gonna cut you up, Turkey. Anybody objects on the new fridge? Anybody want to say anything? Let him open his mouth right now. All right, Piggy, Hawkeye, okay, Bird. Three, get rid of Johnny's body. Bandage him up so he don't bleed much. And then take him and dump him in Eagle Turk. You really cold him, Nino? Yeah. All right, Shirley, Sally, Marie. You three, clean up the mess. Big man around the club. That's right. You read it loud and clear, baby. Okay, you're the prez. Now what? What do you mean? You cooled off Johnny. You took his job, did you also take over his deb? Well, what do you think? I want to know. Am I in or is Terry going to take over? You've had it, baby. I get pushed out the same way Angel was. Well, there ain't room for two. I'll kill her! <laughs> Nino? I said you've had it. Now, you ain't one of us anymore. Now, just get the hell out of here. Don't, Nino. I got a show up. Well, there's a better way, a real good way. Let's line her up for the guys. What? Why? She too good or something? But these guys, they give her a real good workout. Oh, that's a little too much, Terry. She's dirt. Show her who's best. All right. Tony, lefty. Take this crud and dump her in one of the back rooms.
Ross and the Eagle Turf, and we planted him in an empty lot. We did some truck down by the river. Well, any blood in it? Nah, we checked good. We'll go in the bedroom. There's some fun for you in there. What kind of fun? A lineup on Annie. What's the matter? You're worried about Annie. Well, she's dirt. She's a crud. And she got exactly what she deserved. You know, she's lucky I let her off alive. Yeah, I guess so. Forget it. The guy's going in for seconds. Well, how's Annie? She passed out. When they finish with her, put some clothes on her and get her the hell out of here. On the local scene, violence erupts in Brooklyn. The body of John Giorgiano was found today in a vacant lot in the Heights section of Brooklyn. Giorgiano died of a stab wound in the stomach. Police believe that Giorgiano was the victim of a local teenage gang, the Warriors. There have been a number of incidents between the various gangs, and it's surmised that Giorgiano was a victim of this violence. Possibly tied in with the death of Giorgiano was the stabbing of Chico Marinez at PS221 this afternoon. Martinez was taken to General Hospital and his condition was reported as critical. Martinez was a member of the Rat Pack and it's believed he suffered his injuries after a dispute with three youths wearing leather jackets. The teenagers were unidentified, but the jackets bore the inscription, Warriors Forever. Get that dirty pig! Show you man's oh, drink! they jump you. My guy split one of their guy's faces. They're just getting even, that's all. You're new around here, ain't you? Sort of. I'm Terry. I'm with the Rebels. Oh, I heard of you. Your guy's Nino, right? Yeah. Thanks again for the help. See you around. Yes. Hey, Nino, there's a couple of visitors outside. Yeah? What kind? They're from the Rat Pack. I made them wait. Well, who are they? Slats and Diablo. They want to talk. All right, let them in. Hi, Nino. Hey, Slats, how you doing, boy? Pretty good, how are you? OK. How you doing, Nino? Hi, Diablo. Come on, sit down. You must be Terry. That's me. My woman told me about the fight today. She says you were OK, real cool. Oh, she's pretty cool herself. Hey, that's a hell of a lot of women you got there. You hear from the hospital about Chico? His mother says they're sewing up a hole in his gut. The doctors don't figure him to live till tomorrow. That's why we're here. We're building up a rumble. We've always been friends with the Rat Pack. We know that, man. We're here to let you in on the plans. We want you guys in on the action when we take the Eagles. The place will be crawling with fuzz. You ain't starting nothing tonight, are you? No, not tonight, tomorrow. We'll play it cool while the fuzz look around tonight. But tomorrow is different. Where? You with us, man? Yeah. Yeah, we're with you. We're gonna take them in a lot right in their own turf. We're gonna show these crumbs once and for all. This ain't gonna be no friendly rumble. There ain't gonna be nothing fair about this rumble, man. If they're expecting a rumble, there ain't gonna be nothing. Yeah, but this ain't gonna look like a rumble. Oh, what do you mean? How are you going to get them? Simple, we make it look like a raid. We nab one of their chicks. You know, uh, Betty Spinella? Yeah, she used to be around the neighborhood. Then she moved over to Eagle Turf with her folks. Yeah, that's the problem. Well, she's gonna take Yance's girl for a walk, see? And along the way, some of my guys will grab her. Now, Betty will get away. 
run back to the Eagles clubhouse and tell them we got Yance's chick. So we let them close in on my guys, and that's when we bop them. Now, on such short notice, they're not going to have much in the way of weapons. But we'll be loaded, the whole arsenal. That's a big scene, man. You think they'll fall for it? They got to, man. If they don't, Yance's chick gets it, dig it? Yeah, I'm hit. Diablo, show them the plans. Turn them off. Turn them off.
and the guys. Listen, will you do me a favor? Stay out of here today. All the lousy... I know, I know, but the cops have been around all morning. Listen, I've already told Nino and the others. Carry us for your own good as well as mine. Why, if they catch you here, they, they, they may pick you up. Now, look. I, I, I let you use my place, and now I've lost all my regular customers. Okay. So we'll stay out for a while. Thanks, huh? I mean, I... I appreciate that. Forget it. Creep. So, we just take it easy for a couple of days. It's no trouble. That's the way I feel too, Tony, but they busted five guys. So many things happen. I just came from Alex. Yeah? I told him we stay out of there for a few days. You read the papers? We killed four guys. I heard it on the radio, but they grabbed five of the Rat Pack. Well, those guys were jerks. I talked to Slats. He said the five guys didn't run the right way, and the fuzz nailed them. It serves them right for being so stupid. Yeah, but aren't you worried about it, that they'd squeal to the cops? Nah, Tony's got a theory about that. Look at it this way. The DA wants convictions, right? Now, he's sitting pretty right now because he's got five guys from the Rat Pack. Well, he'll get a conviction, and they'll go up the river. They give the cops a medal for making the arrest, and the DA looks like a champ who's fighting juvenile delinquency. He's got what he needs for re-election, so what's he want with us? We didn't get nabbed at the scene, so it's going to be very tough to prove that we were in on the rumble. With those guys on trial, he's got all the headlines he needs for months. Dig? Well, let's hope you're right. Okay, this is a scene for the next couple of days. Nobody goes into Alex, see? We play it real cool, and on Saturday we give a badge to celebrate. You two guys go over to Splats and tell them we're giving this big blowout on Saturday. And the whole gang is invited. But they keep it cool till then, huh? What's the matter? Nothing. I'm just thinking about those guys that got busted. We're gonna have to play it real cool for a long time. Well, not too long. Well, what do you mean? We're on the move now. After the party Saturday, you have to start making plans to jump the warriors. We'll get the Rat Pack to back us up, and we'll sweep through their turf before they know what hit them. The well, warriors ain't done nothing to us lately. They stick to their turf. Well, what do we want to do something like that for? Nino, don't be a jerk. Look, you gotta show every club in the city who the boss is. The boss is you, right? You'll be running the toughest club in the city. Well, what's that gonna prove? We're all right as we are. Who needs a bother? Nino, don't be a jerk, huh? Look, you let up on them one minute, they're down on you. You gotta keep showing them. All right. I'll talk to the guys and we'll start to make some plans. Nino, you won't be sorry. Don't make me mad, boy. Don't make me angry. I'll bust you in two, boy. If it tickles my fancy, I can be mean, boy. So don't get me riled up. Don't make me angry. Don't make me mad. Don't make me a hostile. Or I'll get excited. Call 
Who's their leader? Or what's his name? Howie? He made a pass at me the other day. And Marie and Sally got the same thing. You can handle them. Yeah, but sometimes it's pretty tough. Those goons can make it tough on us chicks. Listen, Slats, it's all decided. We're gonna get them in a week. Are you with us or not? That's all we want to know. I don't know, man. Listen, I got five guys busted in that last rumble. Slats, in this scene, you guys are gonna be the reserves. We're gonna handle the main action. You've got too much heart to say no. Are you with the Slats? Okay, we're with you. But only on condition that I say where my guys fight. Also, what are we going to use for an excuse? Well, that's no worry. If anything develops, we can always find a reason to rumble. Okay, it's a deal. I'm going to go find Carol and Dan. Come on, let's get a drink. Come on, everybody, get a pop! Yeah, get me one, yeah, too! Yeah, baby! Come on, come on. yeah! Now get a partner. you got to have a partner. If you want to be a black belt, got to have a partner, then you move on the floor. That's where you learn some more. Yeah. Start with a front punch, then do another front punch, and then you do a side kick, and then another side kick, and baby, that's all you do, and then you're a black belt too. You are just the beginner. Yellow belt. You are still a beginner. Green belt. Well, you're starting to move now. Purple belt. Hey, you're getting the groove now. Brown belt. Baby, you're starting to play now. Black belt. Come on and shake that thing now. Bugging you, Nino. Nothing. The rumble, ain't it? Nothing's bugging me. Then why the long face? What the hell do you mean? You're trying to goof, man. What? Well, let me spell it out to you. We got ourselves a rumble, and you don't look too happy about it. What's the matter? You scared? Whoever said that? Nobody, I... but I can see it. You don't want that rumble, do you? I don't know. I just can't get hopped up about mixing it with the Warriors. Well, you listen to me. You're top man, right? You killed a guy to get there. Man, you want this rumble. You gotta get out there and you gotta kill so that everybody can see you. You cooled off Johnny, remember? <laughs> if you don't come on strong, baby, you're gonna wind up with a hole in your gut. Yeah.
And you know what? He'll be back in a half hour. What do you want to see him for? Well, I got to tell Nino and nobody else. Hey, listen, what you can tell Nino, you can tell me too. What kind of person? Come on, what is it? We're going to resign from the club. We just came over to say goodbye. You what? We're quitting. I've been thinking. I'm going to be 17 tomorrow, and that's old enough to quit school. And I figured I'd better get out of the gang and get a job and make some bread. If he doesn't get a job, the army will take him for two years. And we want to get married, don't we, honey? Sure, baby. That's why we want to say goodbye. Well, that's just beautiful. You're going to quit us. Where do you think you get off quitting us without permission, huh? We never needed permission before to check out. Well, you sure as hell do now. You got to get my permission and Nino's. You don't get out so easy. Terry, if a guy wants to split, that's up to him. Nobody's got to stay if they don't want to. Shut up. You got to get my permission. That's the way it is. We never had to do that before. Well, that's the way it is now. Now you're going to wait till Nino comes. Now get in there and sit down. We got things to do. Get in there and shut up. What's going on here? Funeral? Come on in the bedroom. I want to talk to you. What about? Come on. Okay, what gives? Piggy and Ellie want to quit the club. So? So. They want to quit so they can sing to the cops. Who says? I know. They give me this crud about getting married and getting a job. But I know the first thing they're going to do is they're going to sing to the cops. This way, if anything happens, they're in the clear. They've got too much on us. Johnny, the rumbo. You got any proof of that? Why else would they quit? What reason do they have? I don't know. Cool him. Can't do that. I know Piggy for years. He's a stoolie. You better take him out back and cut him up good. This way they'll know no one quits the rebels and no one crosses Nino. Uh, maybe I better do something about Piggy. You better. You're gonna get the chair. Yeah, I'll take care of him. <laughs> I hear you and Ellie planning to split, huh, Piggy? Nino, we don't want any trouble. We just want to quit. It ain't nothing personal. We just want out. Well, maybe we better have a nice, quiet talk about that. Let's go out back and discuss it. Nino, I, I don't... Shut up! You gonna come? Now, come on. Hey, hey Nino, what you are you gonna, gonna come talk about? You gonna come or I gotta drag you out there? What are you gonna talk about, Nino? You'll see. He's gonna go to the cops, Piggy. That's crazy. Whoever told you that is a liar. Get out your knife, Piggy. I ain't carrying one. Somebody give him a blade. No. Pick it up, Piggy. No. Nino, you know, I don't want to fight. What for? Nobody quits me or the gang, Piggy. Now fight! Hawkeye Tony, wrap up Piggy and dump him in warrior turf. And that'll give us our excuse for getting him. Okay, you come with me.
You're gonna scram now. And you're gonna keep your trap shut about Piggy. Because if you open up about what happened, I'll cut your guts out personally. Dig? Yeah, Neil. I won't say a word. Now beat it. It's for you. It's one of your friends. Who? They didn't say. Yeah? Terry, it's Shirley. Yeah? Can you come over to the club? Yeah, I guess so. What's up? It's Nino. He got hurt tonight. Nino? How? Yeah, he went over to Dragon Turf and they jumped him. Hey, I'll be over right away. You're going out. Terry, it's late. Can't you stay in tonight? Look, it's important. I'll see you later. Nino ain't here, Terry. What do you mean he ain't here? What'd you it's do? Not to... here. That's all. Well, where is he? In the hospital? Nino ain't hurt, Terry. What kind of crud is this? Well, it's just talk. Something to get you to come here. You see, we wanted you to meet some of your old friends. What the hell are they doing here? You don't belong in this clubhouse. We were invited. This club was okay until you came along. Everything was fine with Johnny as the prez. Everything was real cool. So you came busting in here. The big deal from Manhattan. Johnny threw you out of the club because he couldn't stand your pig face. You couldn't handle Johnny, so you sent Nino up against him. You organized that lineup. It was your idea. I was almost killed. You made Nino kill Johnny. They were good friends till you came here. And you made Nino kill Piggy. He didn't mean any harm. He wanted to get married, that's all. And you made Nino kill him. For nothing. For no reason at all. Things ain't been so good since you came here, Terry. So we had a little meeting and we decided we better stop you before there was any more killings. We don't know who you're gonna go after next. So we invited Angel, Annie, and Ellie to help us take care of you. We're gonna fix it so that no man will ever look at you again. You keep away from me. Nino would kill you if you touch me. You put a hand on me, he'll cut your guts out. He can't kill us all. Our guys won't let him. We've been talking to them. They're pretty sore about what happened to Piggy. They think he didn't deserve that. Maybe they'll even take care of your Nino. Don't kill her. We want her to remember what she's done. You keep away from me. Keep away from me. Keep away from me. Tickles my fancy. I can be mean, boy. So don't get me riled up. Don't make me angry. Don't make me mad. Don't make me a hostile. Or I'll get excited. Stay away from my baby. That's my ring on a finger. I can be mean, boy. Don't make me angry. Don't make me mad. Don't fool around. Got my eyes on you. Don't fool around. Whatever you do, don't call. 
call her name, boy. Don't call her number. You're looking for trouble. If you know what I mean, boy. I can be mean, boy. So don't get me riled up. Don't make me angry. Don't make me mad. Don't fool around. I got my eyes on you. Don't fool around. Whatever you do, don't call her name, boy. Don't call her number. You're looking for trouble. If you know what I mean, boy. I can be mean, boy. So don't get me riled up. Don't make me angry. Don't make me mad. 